champ hasn't won a major prize yet. But this time we will. Not if Lisa and Lindsay can help it. Wheel of Fortune, 5.30 today after Family Feud. You know, I've been a big fan of Extra for a long, long time now. And not just because Extra is sugar free. There's another good reason. Extra has a great taste that really lasts. Thanks, Liz. Its flavour just goes on and on. Try it yourself and enjoy that great, long-lasting taste of extra. Should we head back? Slowly. Extra with NutraSweet. Sugar-free and a great taste that really lasts. You know, kids who play sport are healthier, enjoy the benefits of teamwork, and often take an active role in society. Sport's a great habit to get into. They strive with all their hearts to cover their country in glory. They are the pride of Australia. From July 25th, join the Seven Network in Barcelona, birthplace of new legends. Presenting the Olympics, Lucozide, cool liquid energy. What am I doing here? You know, I remember a simpler time. Life seemed so innocent and carefree. When I'd wake up with a smile on my face and every door in the world was wide open. Well, that all ended the day I got my driver's license. Who would have thought that the one thing in the whole world that I wanted most would turn into such a nightmare? Ah, come on, Kip. Quit thinking about it. I can't. It started out so full of promise. And Fred and Susanna. Never made it to the prom. It appears that you boneheads aren't taking driver's ed seriously. Well, let me set the record straight. I expect 110% from you at all times. I expect you to get out there and study chapters one through five, and I expect to see you all at the football game Friday night. <laughs> hey, Angela. Hi. Pretty grisly film, huh? Oh, yeah. How could they do that to such a beautiful car? Yeah. I'm really sorry about staring at you during the movie. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'm used to it. Angela, you have the most beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> They're contacts. And the most beautiful blue contacts. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I, I, I think the uh, coach was serious about going to the game. Maybe uh, you and I could go together. I already have a date with Chuck Talley. Have you seen his new vet? No, but uh, I've been hearing it all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, what about Saturday? Oh, I'm sorry. I already have a date with Jimmy Donlin. Right, the guy with the Jeep that can climb the school steps. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, but ask me out again sometime. You're kind of cute. Yes, new worlds were beginning to open for me. Mobility, freedom, <laughs> and maybe even Angela. After weeks of torturous anticipation, I finally reached the next step in my journey. I got it! Dad? Grandma? I got it! I got it! Guys? I got it! I got it! Oh, that's wonderful! <laughs> what exactly did you get? My learner's permit. Come on, let's go for a ride. <laughs> oh, I love Gilbert. I got a roast in the oven. Well, bring it along. The more the merrier. <laughs> <laughs> Legs and your secretary. Oh, yeah? Hey, Dad, I got my learner's permit. Let's go for a ride. Hey, all right. Oh, 
It's five o'clock. Uh, let's wait till after rush hour. <laughs> rush hour in Mayfield? Come on, that's two cars making a left turn on the same day. Yeah, this is a big day for Kip. Come on, let's go for a spin. Great. Can we take your T-Bird? <laughs> oh, you two are about? a couple of nervous Nellies. Here, Kip, you can use my car. Oh, thanks, Grandma. I'm going to go reset the buttons on the radio. Well, all right. <laughs> Well, I was thinking of trading it in anyway. Wally, do you have any of those antacid tablets? Come on, B, relax, will you? This is going to be fun. You know, uh, driving lessons are the traditional father-son bonding ritual in our society. You may not remember my first lesson with Dad, but I do. We didn't talk for two weeks. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen this time. There's uh, a lot less cats in the neighborhood these days. <laughs> All right, now everybody buckle up. Okay, now, Kip, I want you to remember that driving is not a right, it's a privilege. I, yeah, I, I know that, Dad. Yeah, well, I know you know. But did you know that more people are killed in traffic accidents in this country every year than die in almost hey, any... Hey, his permit's only good for 90 days. Relax, will you? Wally, well, I am relaxed. But I want him to learn how to drive right, not like you. What are you talking about? You're the guy who's banned from the bumper cars. Hey, guys, can we get going? All right. Now, with your foot on the brake, start the engine. <laughs> That's okay. Don't get nervous. That happens to everybody. <laughs> All right, now, with your foot still on the brake, put the car in gear. Now, slowly put your foot on the gas. Uh, that'll be enough for today. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Haskell. Uh, boy, my family is really driving me crazy. My father? <laughs> Sometimes I think he just doesn't feel I'm ready for wheels. I just don't know what to do. Hey, you're paying me so you can practice driving. If you want family counseling, that's extra. Sorry, <laughs> forgot who I was with. Listen, after we pick up the insulation, stop by the building inspector. I got a few envelopes to drop off. <laughs> hey, what are you doing with two hands on the wheel? Well, that's what they taught us in driver's ed. You know, uh, 10 to 2. Oh, yeah? And what if some clown cut you off? How are you going to respond with a proper hand gesture? <laughs> Remember, Sam, there's more to operating a motor vehicle than just being a safe driver. <laughs> hey, how come you're slowing down? Uh, stop sign. Hey, when you drive with me, it's no cop, no stop. <laughs> look how you're sitting. I'm sitting up straight. Exactly. You look like your butt's booby-trapped. <laughs> You've got to become one with the car. Sit back. Dangle a wing out the window. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, that's the spirit. Hey, don't ever do that again. Do what? Pass a chicken a tube top hitchhiking. <laughs> What's the speed limit at a blind intersection? 15 miles per hour. Which direction do you turn the wheel if your car goes into a skid? In the direction of the skid. Come on, will you ask me something harder? Look, we've been working on this for an hour. I'm getting car sick. This is really important. Come on, just ask me a few more questions, okay? Okay. What's your favorite color? What's your sign? Is the theater really dead? <laughs> what is your problem? <sighs> Nothing. Come on, Ollie. I know you. What's the matter? Just take your stupid test. Get your license and drive off to college. Forget all about me. See what you're winning. Ollie, I'm not getting my driver's license to get away from you. Think about it. Be able to take you to school, drive you to the lake, huh? Come on, I'll even hide you in the trunk and sneak in to drive in movies. <laughs> sure, that's what you say now. It's like that time Mom said she was just going away for the weekend. To 
some guys, the ultimate thrill is driving in the Indianapolis 500, winning the World Series of Poker or catching the big one at Waimea. But to me, it was the fourth day of my 16th year, the day I was going to go take my driver's test. I don't think I ever wanted anything so much for so long. Finally, the day arrived. I was so focused, so ready, <laughs> so naive. I've already seen your driver's license. No. I just want you to sit on this for a second. I want to see if the seat's high enough. No way. I've seen too many Three Stooges movies to fall for that one. Oh, come on. I promise you, nothing's going to happen, all right? Uh, all right. Wow, this is a great bike. Yeah. There. That should do it. Wait a minute. Isn't this a little low for you? Well, I guess you're right. Why don't you just go ahead and keep it? <laughs> Real funny. Fine. If you don't want it, sell it. I can use the gas money. You're really giving me your bike? <laughs> this bike, the one I'm sitting on. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why are you giving me your bike? Because you're my brother. And besides, I don't need it anymore. I'm getting a car. A car? Cool. Does Dad know? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> You are the parent. Your kids are pestering you to buy a video game system. Armed with only $99 and faced with the hazards of shopping, your mission is to find the top-selling game system. The one with the widest range of games, a hotline for game tips, and a free game built in. To your amazement, you can afford a Sega Master System 2. And if you buy now, you get a $50 cashback upgrade voucher. For just $99, you can't lose. nervous taking my driver's test. Little did I know that the most difficult obstacle of my quest lay ahead of me. I finally found just the right moment to pop the big question. Dad? Uh, oh, boy, spaghetti. Hey, Kip, did you hit that up for the car yet? <laughs> A car? Look, Dad, I'm 16 years old. I have my license, and I have a perfect driving record. Kip, you've only driven to the grocery store. And back. Where do you think you'll get the money for this car? Well, he still has the $700 that Aunt Martha left him. And what kind of a car do you think you could get for $700? Probably not a very safe one, but with a little help from my very successful dad, I'm sure that I could get a very dependable car. 
I'm sure you could. But as your very successful dad already knows, a car is an ongoing expense. It requires maintenance, gas and oil, not to mention insurance. I, I know all that, Dad. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to work weekends, nights, every spare minute. Kip, you're only 16 years old. Now, why do you want to waste all of your free time working for a car? Come on, you can use mine anytime you want to. Thanks, Grandma, but you know, I really don't picture myself driving a car with a license plate that reads, Number One Mom. Fine, <laughs> then you can use my minivan whenever you want. Now the discussion is closed. So, Oliver, did anything exciting happen to you today? Uh, yeah. Mr. Phillips, my shop teacher, cut off one of his fingers with a bandsaw. Well, that's terrible. Yeah. Now he's only got seven. <laughs> Grandma, will you tell Dad how I promised that I was going to help with Ollie's carpool and, you know, help with the shopping? Well, Kip, I'd love to, but honestly, I don't remember that conversation. <laughs> well, you know I do all that, and I do it a lot better with my own car. Kip, I don't want to belabor the point. When you can show a more mature attitude, we'll discuss your getting a car. More mature? I'm as tall as you are. <laughs> I think you just proved my point. Excuse me. I have to get to band practice. Hey, want to use my bike? <laughs> you know, Dad, actually, I think he's a little bit taller than you. Eat your dinner. <laughs> Then he tells me I can drive the minivan anytime I want. Sure, safe and responsible, just like a father. Well, most fathers. <laughs> there she is. Just look at her. She's so beautiful. You know, she should be a song. Angela, oh my Angela. Yeah, please spare me another one of your hormonal eruptions. <laughs> How to find a way to break through to her. Gee, I really feel for you. One girl in the entire school resists your dark eyes, stoic jaw, and hint of androgyny. What's androgyny? Never mind. <laughs> the point is, the reason you haven't connected with Angela is that she doesn't care about the man. She cares about the wheels beneath him. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't need a car to impress a girl. I want her to like me for who I am. Bad choice. If I were you, I'd take the 700 bucks, rent a Lamborghini for the night, and she'll give you a guided tour of her throat. You're so romantic. <laughs> Ow! So, are you all right, Kit? It's Kip, uh, with a P. Oh, brown contacts today, huh? I know. These are my real eyes. Oh, they're nice, too. <laughs> Look, um, I, uh, uh, I'm in this band, and we got this gig Friday night, and I was wondering if you'd like to go. Oh, I don't know. See, I really should hang around with my cousin on Friday night. She's visiting, and I don't... Oh, I have this friend. He's in the band, too. Oh. Well, um, what kind of car do you have? You mean right now? None. Oh. I really have to get to class. <laughs> but on Friday, I'll be getting my classic 1960 T-Bird out of the shop. Oh. <laughs> With one slight embellishment of the truth, one little white lie, I had planted the seeds of my own undoing. And the farmer says, that's not a cow, that's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Duffy knows all the best jokes. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi, Kip. Hi, Kip. Hi, Kip. <clears throat> Uncle Wally, I need an opinion and uh, a small favor. Well, always glad to give an opinion. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Who's the prettiest girl on this page? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, I guess she is. <sighs> yeah, she is. But uh, she ran off with the guidance counselor. <laughs> oh. Well, then I guess her. <laughs> I always knew you had great taste. <laughs> Guess who's taking her out Friday night? Oh, you? Hey, all right, hey, all right you. yeah. So, you have something special <laughs> planned for the big evening? You bet. <laughs> Just picture her reaction when I drive up to her house Friday night, 8 o'clock sharp in Uncle Wally's classic T-Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Wally, I've been 
dreaming about this girl all semester. Please, I'll be real careful. I'll wash it, lube it, uh, fill the tank. I'll put a cover on it, even while I'm driving. <laughs> Kip, we're talking about a classic here, not some clunky old boat like your dad. Uh, Wally, could uh, I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> Wally, I really think you should let Kip use the car. <laughs> Mary Ellen, he's only had his license for two weeks. He, he's a baby. He's taller than you are. He is not. He is too. We're the same height. Honey, why did you buy the T-Bird? Well, because it's a classic. The, the chrome, the lines, the simplicity of engineering. That's not why. You bought it so you could subconsciously relive your glory days, recapture your youth. Oh, what are you talking about? That car means nothing more to me than a good investment. Wally, you don't have to impress the girls anymore no matter what Eddie Haskell says. The only person you have to impress is me, and I'm already sold on you. Come on, let the T-Bird be used for the purpose it was originally intended. Boy, your band sounded like a real band tonight. And I didn't think you had any talent. Thanks. <laughs> Great gig tonight, huh, Freddy? I'm gonna kill you, Kleber. <laughs> When you guys started playing, I just had to put it on. <laughs> Kip, you know, when you first asked me out, I had no idea you could sing like that or play the keyboards. And I had no idea you had a car like this. Yeah, well, uh, maybe I was just playing hard to get. Yeah, well, maybe it worked. What other fascinating attributes have you noticed about me? I really like your choice of eyes tonight. Well, I wore blue because I know how you look them. They're my favorite. Look out! Get dirty! No! no! Does Sam really have supernatural powers? If I gave you a sock or something and you hung on to it, what could you tell about me? That you should buy shoes and breathe naturally. Hey, Dad, plus home improvement, Wednesday. New Omo Micro. You demanded it. Now let's look at the results. The collar particularly with this fine embroidery work looks really pretty and there's not a mark in sight. And overall it was just wonderfully white. The colours are just so lovely and bright and they've come up fresh. Nice and clean, they look great. With just one scoop of Omo Micro, you'll get the results you want. New Omo Micro, concentrated powder for a concentrated clean. It works for them, it'll work for you too. There are plenty of towns in the bush, and still more set by the sea. But I've been around and there's one kind of town that stands way out in front to me. Because there's something inside that they just can't hide. Some call it old fashioned but I call it pride. Pride you can see when you look around an Australian tidy town. Everyone's a winner when you join the Australian Tidy Towns team. Contact Keep Australia Beautiful. Why should a letter change her life? Come on, Finn, what's the story? Ryan has everyone believing he's a nice guy. I think this is ridiculous to let something like this get in the way. And Blake is clutching at straws. Oh, what about chemotherapy? Why can't you go back on I'm it? sorry, Blake, it won't work for her well, anymore. Just try. At this stage, it would do no good. Mars presents Home and Away tonight. So here I am. You know, I probably would have gotten more sympathy if I had gotten busted up a little bit. I guess I'm really lucky no one was hurt. Now it's only another 200 hours until I can pay Uncle Wally back for the body work. You know, he took it a lot better than I thought he would. All right. And my dad really surprised me. He could have rubbed it in about how he was right all along and how dumb, childish, and reckless I was. But instead, he said he was sorry I had to learn the hard way. Unfortunately, <laughs> it seems to be the only way I learn anything. Well, all I can do now is chop another one up to experience. But it is difficult to accept that even though I'm as tall as my father, I still don't know as much as he does. Oh, well, I guess if I waited 16 years to get my license, I can wait a little while longer for a car. 
Maybe what I'm really cut out for is a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. For $700, you know, I could buy a really hot bike. Man, you know, I would look really good on one of those. <laughs> yeah. And kids don't go away. There's plenty of cartoon fun next as Agro and Amory present He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Pebbles and Bam Bam, Quick Draw McGraw and the Smurfs. That's Agro's Cartoon Connection coming up next, followed by everyone's favourite talking horse, Mr Ed. Then at 9.30, stay tuned for The Book Place. <laughs>